Hello, this is Dean Naughton with Sales Evolution. Today we're going to be talking further about Outlook. And in our Outlook 101 series, we are going to talk today specifically about creating rules. Now, what are rules? Rules are a way to control the inflow of emails into your inbox. All of us get hundreds of emails every week. And this is a great way for us to get our inbox under control. <laughs> for those of you who know me, you know that I have a pet peeve about an overfull inbox. And so these rules help my inbox and can help yours. For instance, MLS email campaigns. All of us are sending up those auto email campaigns. We're getting notified when people look at emails or when those emails go out. These can actually be sent to a folder within your Outlook. And during the week, you can take some time, look to see who's looking at the emails, and then, of course, do the follow-up required. Secondly, it's like industry updates from your board or from Realty Times, any of those websites where you've signed up for emails to notify you of changes in the marketplace. This is a great one where you can set up rules to take those emails and put them in a specific folder where once a week you can sit, read, and get caught up on what's going on in our industry. Lastly, mom. I say mom not to make fun of her, but to say this is how we should be running our business. See, during business hours, we need to be focused on business. We can set up a rule to all those great emails that mom sends us to go into a specific folder, and then after hours or on the weekends, we can scroll through those and read them and enjoy them. All of these ways of controlling our inbox are done through rules. So let's show you how to set up a rule. First, let's open up your inbox, and it looks just like this. And any in email within your inbox, you can right-click on. And when you right-click on it, it drops down a menu. And if you go about two-thirds of the way down, you'll see right there where it says Create Rule. Please click on Create Rule. When you do that, you will see this window pop up that says Create Rule. You will click on From Tiffany Lossing. That's who I chose, whoever it is, whether it's AAR or Realty Times or even your mother. You'll click on any email that comes from this person. Please send to this email folder. Now, I've chosen CS Orders, but if I didn't, I can click on the Select folder right here, and this window will pop up. I can scroll down through my inbox, through all the different folders that I have, and I can choose the folder where I want Tiffany's emails or moms to go to. If there isn't a specific folder that I have already established, then I can click on the new button and create a new folder, say one for Tiffany specifically. After I've chosen the folder, then I click OK, and this pops up. Do you want to run the rule, which is now called Tiffany in my, in my example, could be mom, could be AAR, could be whatever it is, do you want to run the rule on your inbox right now? Hit OK, and it will take all of the inbox or all the emails in your inbox from Tiffany or whoever you created the rule on and put them into a specific folder. It's that easy. Then you can go through your inbox and create folder after folder and create rule after rule until your inbox is under control. In conclusion, when we create rules, we clean up our inbox. We organize our clients. We can set up folders and files for specific clients or transactions, and we can send in all the emails from title companies and from lenders from the customer themselves into their folder so you can keep track of this transaction and keep references forever on them. And lastly, of course, is those important communications right in front of you at all times. If you'd like further videos on Outlook or any other downloads, please go to our website, which is salesev.com, and click on the free section. We have plenty of things for you to look at and uh, ways to help improve your business. Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to our next meeting. Bye-bye.